Good day, guys. So for on a lot here with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tier list. Um, it's a bit different from what I usually do. Um, if you haven't heard of a tier list, it's pretty much this list here. Um, you've got S, A, B, C, D as a rank. Uh, S is the highest and D is the lowest. And you can drag and drop your images, you know, wherever you think they may rank. Um, this is totally my opinion, and you're welcome to do it yourself. Um, I'll leave a link down below where you can go do it yourself. Um, you know, you can, yeah, put your own uh, fish where you want them and whatnot. Um, I will just say now that I've got these pictures off of uh, Google just using the labelled for reuse filter. Um, if you do own any of them, uh, email me or leave a comment with some proof, and I'll uh, happily, you know, link your uh, photos or whatever you want um, down there. And if you don't want me using them at all, I'm happy to, you know, redo it and get a different picture, but uh, just let me know. Um, so I'll get on to it. Um, I've got all different types of tropical fish here, so I'm happy to do, you know, I'm thinking of doing, I guess, a cold water fish one as well. But this is just tropical freshwater um, aquarium fish. Uh, most of these are only in Australia as well. Like these are well, Australian available ones. Um, just because I don't think, you know, doing a tier list with, you know, widely available ones makes sense as I'm not really, um, you know, aware of, or not aware, but, you know, I've never seen them in the pet shop or, you know, owned them. Um, so without further ado, I'll just get started. Uh, where to start? Bristle nose catfish here, or the pleco. So he's a good algae eater. Um, you know, not too expensive. Pretty nice looking. You know, blends in with everything. So I reckon I'd put him at a B, uh, in the middle. Uh, the good thing about this as well is I can change it. You know, whenever I want if I'm not a fan. Uh, what else we got here? The discus fish. I do like the discus fish. The only issue is they are a little expensive and a little, um, I guess, needy on the tank. They need a big tank. But I reckon I'll put them at A just because they do look pretty nice and you can get some really nice looking ones. And I mean, if you're going to spend the money on the fish, you might as well spend the money on the tank. Uh, what have we got next? Is it sword tails? Um, I'm going to put the sword tails at B just because I'm not a huge fan of those live bearers, um, I'm more of a guppy kind of guy. Um, so I'll just go ahead and put the, I think it's a molly there, and there's a platy, or maybe that's the platy and that's the molly. That's the platy and that's the molly. So I'm going to put them all at B just because I don't really think much of them. Um, I do like the idea of being able to, you know, breed your fish like that and have the live bearers. That's why I like the guppies, but I just think they look a little too, you know, plump and weird for my liking. <laughs> Uh, next, I'm just going to jump to the Oscar because I think he's S tier straight away. Um, the Oscars are really cool. I wish I had a big enough tank for it um, or for a few of them. I think I love just how they gulp down their food and you can, you know, buy a small baby one and grow it to its full size. And, you know, it's one of my dream fish, I think. Um, but I don't think I'll be getting one anytime soon. Uh, next up, we got Ember Tetras. Uh, I do like the Ember Tetras quite a lot but i haven't kept them so i'll put them at b as well i gotta put the corridors i reckon they're going s as well they're cute they're great for cleaning up your tank and they're just great little fellas now what have we got now we've got the better fish i reckon i'll put the better at a it's a pretty you know common fish um you know so many different types they're a good starter fish i think as well and you know, although they are mistreated, you know, I think they're still a good fish. I'm going to go for the African cichlids, and I'm going to put them at C, I think, um, only because you can't keep them with other fish. Um, they're very territorial, and they're a bit of an issue. I mean, you can get some nice coloured ones, but the fact that, you know, if you want to put something else in there, it's just not going to work out is kind of annoying. Um, I've always wanted to get a good community tank and always, you know, end up on an African cichlid. And then I have that issue. Uh, I'm going to start with the silver shark at D tier. Now, I do like how it looks and I do like it, but they get too big. And every time I go, oh, I really want to buy them and I just can't. Now that I think about it, I'm going to put the African cichlid down at D as well. 
just because they're fish that I can't have because I don't have the amount of tanks. I'm sure in the future if I get a fish room and stuff like that, I'll have uh, lots and lots of these guys, but for now, no. Uh, I think I'll go for the Bolivian Ram, and I'm going to put him at C. Um, as much as I do like them, they're a bit of a interesting fish. You know, they don't look amazing, but I love how they act and stuff. Um, they seem to have a bit of a personality, a lot like the Oscar fish. Um, but, you know, when it comes down to it, they don't look that great and they can be a little bit territorial. Uh, i got the Neon Tetra and I'm going to put them at A just because they're such a great fish, you know. They're common. Everyone's probably kept them. Um, you know, I've got them at the moment. They're great fish and they're just, you know, you can't go wrong with uh, a Neon Tetra. And that also covers, you know, Cardinal Tetras. They're very similar. And they were all pretty good fish. Next, I've got the angelfish here. And I think I'm going to put the angelfish maybe C. I was thinking about getting an angelfish, but they just grow too tall, I think. Like, you're supposed to have them in a taller tank rather than a long tank. And, you know, they're just a bit weird. I don't know. They can be territorial and they can be quite aggressive sometimes. Um... I remember my auntie, she had one, and it used to kill her fish. Um, she actually had the tank that I have my Neon Tetras in now. Um, so maybe the tank wasn't big enough, but maybe it was just the angelfish, I'm not sure. I think they're a bit hit and miss, but I haven't, uh, you know, kept one personally. I haven't tested it, so I'm unsure. Um, but I am thinking about getting one. Uh, next up is the Cherry Barbs, and I reckon I'll put them maybe B as well. Uh, they're nice, they're small. I think they can be quite aggressive, though. Well, not aggressive, but they tend to eat smaller things like shrimp and baby shrimp quite a lot. Um, but they do look nice. They've got, you know, the nice cherry colour and the cool shape. I do really like the cherry barbs. Um, next up, we'll go for the garami. I have kept the garami, and I would say that it wasn't my favourite fish. Um, you know, they're a bit weird. They don't like a fast-flowing tank. Um which is annoying, especially if you want, you know, a certain filter on there. Um, I had a hang on back, which was pushing water quite a bit. And, you know, it was getting kind of blown around or, you know, I wasn't really a fan of it. It would always hide and stuff. And then I, you know, swapped the filter over and it was out. But, you know, it wasn't the hang on back that I bought and it was a bit of a waste. Um, but, you know, they just look weird and they have some, well, mine were anyway doing these really long poos that just dangled there and I wasn't a real fan of the long poos just dangling there. Um, it kind of just, you know, it was a bit off-putting. It's like, oh, like showing my, you know, friends or something or my family my fish and he's just got this massive uh, poo there and, yeah, not a fan of the uh, dwarf garamis, but I do like the honey garamis. Um, they're just smaller and a bit nicer. And there's also, um, I think it's speckled or sparkling garamis, which are really cool. And I think I might get some of them down the track. Uh, next up, I'm going to put the Harlequin Rasbora, and I'm going to whack him up at A tier, just because he's got that oh, nice colour, that nice black like, um, pork chop or lamb chop um, kind of, you know, mark on it, which is just great. They're beautiful fish, lovely fish. I will be keeping them soon, I'm sure of it. Very keen to get some of those. Um, they go well with, you know, shrimp and all that, so they're pretty solid fish. Uh, I've got the black phantom tetra here, and I reckon I'll whack it B. Um, I've never kept them before, and I've seen them in the shops and stuff, and I don't know, there's just something about them. I think they get a little too big, and they just look maybe not colourful enough. Um, I know you can, you know, get some cool fish that are black and have them in there and it works well, but they're just one of those fish where I reckon if they had a little bit of colour, like, I don't know, maybe some red or some blue, um, it would just make it pop a little bit better and, you know, they're not as great as, say, Harlequin Rosbora where it's just got that, you know, black and the orange. If that had some orange in there, it would look good. Uh, next I'll go to the red tail shark and I'll whack him down C. Um, I've been looking into getting a red tail shark recently, and there's a few problems I've had. Um, definitely, they can be territorial with each other and other fish, which is annoying. Um, you know, you always want to whack as many fish as you can in a community tank, and it just doesn't end well, and it sucks. Um, so that's why, you know, I'm not a huge fan of them. 
Um, I do like how they look and how they act. They're really cool, but yeah, just a problem with that. And last but not least, the guppies. And I'm going to whack them S tier. Um, I do love a good guppy. Um, you know, there's all different colors, all different shapes and sizes or, you know, whatever. Um, they breed like crazy, you know, live bears. Can't go wrong with live bears for breeding. Um, but yeah, you know, you can mix and match and just have whatever guppies you want. There's all the colors in the world. Um, I went to my, you know, big aquarium pet shop, um, place that has like the most fish and they had so many different types of guppies or some crazy ones i think there's the cloud guppies or blue cat clouds or something and they're just it's like whitish blue they look amazing um but yeah there's all different kinds and yeah i'll put them there uh, so this is my tier list of these uh freshwater tropical fish um obviously this isn't all the fish and there's some that i've missed um just thinking about it now i should have added some other ones but i'll leave them for a later one maybe i'll update this or you know see how it goes but this is it so far. Um, so S tier's got the Oscar, the Cory, and the Guppies. And then there's A tier with the Discus, the Beta, Neon Tetra, and the Harlequin Raspora. Then we got B, the Bristle Nose Pleco, and the uh, Swordtail, the Molly, and the Platties. The, which one's that? That's the Cherry Barb, that's the Ember Tetra, the Black uh, Phantom Tetra. The Bolivian Ram, Angelfish on C, um, Garami and Red Tail Shark on the C tier. And on D tier, we've got Silver Shark and the African Cichlids. Um, so yeah, if you want to do this, the link should be down in the uh, below in the description. I also now have a Discord channel and I also have a Twitter account. Um, I had to make a Twitter account to do this tier list thing. Um, so if you want to head over there and follow, if you have Twitter, um, feel free. I might not be posting much. I might be posting stuff. I don't know yet. Um, and on the discord, I will be, you know, chatting and stuff, um, sharing pictures, uh, come join. If you want to play games, um, I've got like, you know, a game section. If you want to play games with me or just play games with other people in the community. Um, but that's about it for the video. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you you know, aren't too offended by my choices, especially uh, down in the lower area. Um, just keep in mind S tier is my highest and D tier is my lowest. Um, but yeah, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.